Hello friends, welcome to back to the new video. Today we are going to learn about how to upload the Excel file and insert that uh, insert that records into the database of the Mongo. So let's have a quick recap of what we are going to do now. So first of all, we will see that we have to require the FS Malta Express and we have to connect with the Mongo. Okay. And we have to use this package convert Excel to the JSON. So first of all, we have we need to upload. Uh, we need to create a directory of upload so that we can upload the data into the uploads directory. And uh, after this, we will going to hit an API that is called API upload file. Okay, it will go to the upload section. That means the, it will upload it successfully. And here you can see that we have calling a function import Excel to DP, right? Then whatever we have the data, okay, whatever we have a request, okay, we will take the request, okay, file path. And we will manage the sheets with the name customers and header rows. Then we will mapping the column with ID, name, address, and the age. Okay, mapping to the column keys. Then we will see the Excel log data, what exactly it is. Then we will going to connect it and uh, connect. And we will, uh, whatever the collection we have, we can insert the data with the customers and uh, close the DB1. So here we can, we, here is the process for inserting the data into the database. So let's have a look how we are going to do that. So let's take a look. So control C, clear. So I'm going to start my server. Okay, so let's hit the API. So I have customer.xls file already. Okay, so I will show you how it is looks like. So this is a customer XLS sheet. Discard. Okay, so okay, so we have the this kind of records that we have added name, address, and age. So as behalf, you can see that we have a column that is on address and age underscore ID. We have already added this one. Okay, so let's try to insert these records into the database. So I'm going to upload this data with the help of the API. I'm going to send this record. You can see that message is file uploaded and what the data we are going. This is that one part, right? So go to the MongoDB and refresh this part. Refresh one and my DB is Excel DB. I'm going to the collections and customers. If I'm going to this one, you can see that I have all the records inserted into the database. You can also write a logic like ID could be like a auto increment in that part. So you, for that, you need to create the models for that. And so that automatically created, then you can change the logic of it and you can directly insert the data into the database with the help of the models, right? So you can also convert this. So I think this code will be helped in with whenever we have a XLS file or the CSV file. So you want to insert the direct data directly into the database so that you can use this code, right? For the data part to inserting the data into the database okay so i hope you understand what exactly we have done in this tutorial so any query any feedbacks just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day